this video, I'm going to be running you through how to install WordPress. So WordPress is the content management system, or CMS, that we'll be using for our website. So the first thing we're going to have to do is access cPanel. Now cPanel is our hosting control panel, and allows us to do a range of things with regards to our hosting. We're then going to have to begin installing WordPress. Now we're going to be using a piece of software called Softaculous that comes to fault with most cPanel installs. So let's get started. Okay, so to get WordPress installed, we're going to have to go through cPanel. So if you're using SiteGround, like I recommended previously, just log into your SiteGround account and you'll land on this page. And then what you want to do is click on My Accounts. Just let that load. And then under the domain you want to set up, so for me it's mylocallandscaping.com, I'm just going to click on Go to cPanel. and this is what you should be seeing load if you're with SiteGround. Now if you're not with SiteGround you'll get a very similar interface loading up, it just won't be the same design and the, the icons for various things might not be the exact same as well. But for SiteGround users uh, this is how you go through the process. So under here you've got auto installers. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on WordPress. This is then going to take us to a piece of software called Softaculous, which is essentially a, a massive auto-installing application that you can install hundreds of different pieces of software onto your web hosting package nice and easily. So obviously we're doing WordPress, so it preloads WordPress for us, so all we have to do is click install. And now it's going to load up a heap of different options that are available to us. Uh, the first one being Choose Protocol. Okay, this option is essentially going to be how you want your website domain name displayed in someone's URL bar. Right now, the only options you're really going to have to choose from is HTTP and HTTP www. So this is going to be a, a kind of personal slash business preference for you, and it's going to come down to as to whether you want the www dot shown in front of your website domain or not. Now, I prefer to normally go with it. So I'm just going to set it up with www. And then we've got choose domain here, which is obviously the domain we want to set up. Now in directory, some people want to set up the WordPress under a subdirectory. So you could have domain.com slash blog if you wanted to set it up that. As we want to use WordPress as the content management system for the website, we are not going to need to set up in a directory. So we just leave that blank. Uh, database name, it will pre-fill this out. This is essentially um, a, a techie side of this that you don't have to worry anything about it at the moment, so that's fine. Now table prefix, just you can leave that as is as well. Okay, so site settings. Now this is the next thing you're going to have to change. So you're just going to have to change my blog to your, the actual name of your website. So, my local landscaping. And then you're just going to have to give a quick description about that website. We can update this later, that's fine. It's just a matter of giving something initially now so that WordPress can understand some stuff going forward. So, find the best local landscapers in your area. Okay, now you don't want to enable WPMU. We can go through this later, but for now you just ignore that one. Now, admin username and password, this is something you are going to want to remember. Um, so, I'd normally just do the default admin, it's nice and easy to remember. And then just enter a password you're going to remember, or have it um, generate one for you. So, I'm just going to enter one here. Obviously, blurring it out for you guys. Okay, and then the next option is admin email. So just enter an email address that you know is accessible because you never know when it's going to be needed. So this can also be updated later on, but for now just enter an email that you have access to. Okay, now it gives two default plugins that you can install. First one being limit login attempts for your WordPress installation, and the second one being a um, passwordless login. I recommend unticking them both because we can go through separate plugins later on for this. Okay, and 
once we've done all that, once we've unticked those plugins, what we can do is come down here and just click install. And this will just go through the process. Now, as it says there, uh, it will just take a few minutes. Um, do not close the browser. Just let it sit here for a few minutes and let it do its thing. This is something we don't want to interrupt, so it's best just to let it go. And I'll be back in a minute once it's done. Okay, so the installer has just done its thing, and it's now coming back saying that the software has successfully installed. Now this is something you can immediately check for yourself, and that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So in another tab, this is what loaded up before I installed WordPress. So mylocallandscaping.com, this is all it showed. So if WordPress is successfully installed, all I'll have to do is press refresh and give this a few seconds to load. And here it is. Uh, WordPress has been successfully installed. So this is now my live website. Now obviously there's a lot of modifications we've got to do, but now that WordPress is installed, we can do them. So stay tuned for the future videos and I'll go through theme selection and plugins very soon. Thanks guys. Thank you.